For more on this story, we can go across to France 24's Benedict Pavio standing by in Acabis Bay. Benedict, good morning to you. What's on the agenda today? Good morning. There's been a slight change. I'm not in Carbis Bay, where the heads of state and government will be meeting later. Uh, that is reserved for them. We, the press, uh, the world's press, have descended upon Falmouth, uh, some distance uh, away. What's on the agenda today is the actual opening of the G7 summit. Of course, we had that important bilateral between the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson yesterday and the big, traditional, historic US ally, the first overseas uh, trip for uh, the six months in already, President Joe Biden. Lots of unity uh, coming out there publicly, but probably Northern Ireland quite high up on the agenda of the discussions. Today, it's the official welcome. We've got leaders arriving as I speak, including, of course, the French President Emmanuel Macron, also the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. And it will be the host country and the hosts, uh, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who will welcome officially the G7 leaders, the leaders of the seven richest nations uh, in the world. And he will set the agenda, no doubt, in his speech, as you said, one that will be dominated by the COVID pandemic. Uh, the important and significant pledges made yesterday by the US president of half a billion Pfizer uh, vaccinations, uh, doses, and of course overnight by the UK uh, of 100 million. And we believe that collectively one billion doses will be uh, pledged by the G7 leaders. We'll await to see if that actually uh, happens. Climate change will be very much uppermost uh, today and over the next few days uh, in the lead minds and their discussions and of course foreign policy will be there whether it's Russia uh, China Iran uh, and others Afghanistan for example uh, will be on the agenda as well so lots to talk about uh, important pledges will no doubt be made uh, and we'll have to see of course the all-important final communique that will be uh, published on Sunday afternoon and Benedict, I said earlier that Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to use, uh, you know, the summit to to assert the global Britain strategy. Uh, and one of uh, Britain's first families, the royal family, uh, G7 leaders, will get a chance to meet them later on today as well. Yes, this is uh, a post, uh, not yet COVID world, but certainly post Brexit world, where six months. In, and it will be absolutely crucial uh, for the Prime Minister to get this sequence right. So it is uh, very much global Britain projecting its uh, future uh, building, of course, uh, on the past. And it will be uh, an extraordinary uh, session, actually, because there'll be a reception. First, there'll be a meeting with Prince Charles. The G7 leaders uh, will be uh, will have the Prime Minister and his uh, new wife, Carrie, there, and they will uh, be meeting Prince Charles to talk about his initiative to do with sustainable development. And then it is the UK UK bringing out really its biggest assets. The Queen, Her Majesty the Queen herself, will meet the G7 leaders uh, and their partners. Uh, then she will leave and there will be an official dinner and there will be uh, Prince Charles and his wife Camilla. Uh, there will also be the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, Prince William and his wife Kate. So a very important, uh, expect lots of photo and footage uh, of this glittering evening in the Eden Project, the biggest, the top attraction here in Cornwall, uh, that is a, a very interesting eco garden uh, that is here in Cornwall. And so that will be quite a treat, an interesting session and sequence that we will be treated to uh, this evening.